Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. This was sent by Nate and I don't know what it is. Thank you very much, Nate, for sending me something. We're gonna find out together. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down below. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, you say something hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times, right? Not only does everybody know the dialogue, but it's really easy for me to say it at warp speed now because it's just like a, I'm not even thinking about the words anymore. I mean, I do want you to do that stuff. I want you to subscribe and like and follow me on Instagram and all that, right? But it's just, you know, after a while, you just get used to, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> yes, sorry. Down Abbey voice in, uh, in my head. Uh, AMC, real quick note, because I forgot and already seen <laughs> the box. <laughs> Please enjoy the foot fetish edition of the ZT0990 from USA Made Blade. Oh, cool. Okay, awesome. Thrilled to support the channel. You can find me at Just Here for Gear on Instagram. Okay, so let's see. And maybe YouTube soon. So here, here it is, right here. Uh, just Here for Gear on Instagram and possibly YouTube soon. So give him a follow because it's people like him that I'm able to bring you guys daily content. Uh, take all the time you need and send it back to me at blah, blah, blah. Okay, awesome. Uh, <laughs> don't go full knife, bro, and split logs with it. <laughs> don't worry, I won't do that. <laughs> I want to do like special editions with it. Okay, cool, man. I appreciate that. Thanks, Nate. Uh, it's very first time I have ever handled this model. It's the only, it's, it's, um, well, it's the last, um, of the newer, uh, models from ZT, the only one that I didn't get to handle. Um, yeah, okay, so this is it. So if you want, you're like, that's not what it normally looks like. USA Made Blade, if you've never checked them out, I, I don't have an affiliate program with them. I just legitimately, I've said this many times. Scott Whittington from USA Made Blade is a great guy. They are a great retailer. I have nothing set up with them. I, I don't stand to benefit anything. Go check out USA Made Blade. They've got cool stuff. So this is a USA Made Blade edition of this where they have the Bigfoot, right? I'm sure many of you are familiar. So this is carbon fiber, uh, CPM 20 CV. Um, and you can see the resemblance to the original model. What was that? Was it the 0999? I can't remember, right? But um, yeah, very smooth countersunk liner lock. Can you actually get at that little? Maybe some people might. The detent's nice on this. Hang on. So here's the deal. Looking at this going, wow, carbon fiber and titanium, right? Actually, and I think most people know this now, the issue that people had with this knife is the fact that these other parts here are not titanium. They're steel. Why? For support. The way that they did this, and I, I talked with ZT about this. Uh, the way that they did this, if they made these parts, this is the, look at this. This is the stop pin back here. This floating thing, which is really cool. Honestly, we don't see that often. Um, it's really, really cool. Making it out of titanium, which is plenty strong, but the steel is going to add more uh, necessary rigidity and support in that area than titanium because of the way that they made it. So while titanium is preferable on a knife that is as expensive as this, right? Just because it's like titanium, titanium more value than steel, right? Because of the the structural build here, it, it just they they might have been able to do it out of titanium, but this thing's going to last the way that I understand it. It's going to last and hold up to the ravages of time better with this piece back here being made out of steel. Um, I think it would have been nice to do some of the inlays and all of the other areas, right? If you had to make that out of steel, fine. But it's like make everything else titanium then and give it a super cool, unique pocket clip. That would have been neat, right? We've got carbon fiber and 20 CV. That's cool. Um, but uh, you know, it, it just would have been nice if everything else could have been titanium, right? 
but it's not. It's still a really interesting knife, and I um, am excited to do a full review and take a look at it. This is uh, just an unboxing and first impressions. I'll tell you guys right now. I mean, it's it's typical ZT quality. It's good. Um, this area right here. No, it's not double clutch. It, it comes down, right? I'm sure that this will break in over time. As it is right now, it's not fall shutty. There's not a, I mean, the blade is not super thick and there's lot, not a lot of material that's going to assist it. So it's smooth, but it's not, it's not fall shutty. The detent is absolute, very clicky. Flipper tab is a bit pokey, right? So if you light switch it, you're probably going to be okay. But if you try to push button it, then no. Uh, but yeah, fit and finish all the way around looks good. Pocket clip is kind of disappointing, but we, we covered that. Centering on this, this is not necessarily a brand new knife, right? So it looks maybe a little bit off. I might adjust it and see if I can get it back to centered. I don't ever judge too hard. In-house design. Uh, is that the detent ball hole? I'm not sure that I like the fact that it, the detent hole is exposed on lockout. That's weird. Why? Because stuff can get in there. Um, and if stuff gets in there, then it affects how the detent works, right? So if you get caked up debris in there, then it's going to affect how strong the detent is because that hole, that ball's not going to sink all the way down in the hole. Can you clean it out? Well, sure. But it's like, why is that? Why is it positioned that way? That's weird. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, I will save the rest of that for the review. Obviously, I need to experience this for a little bit before I can do a full comprehensive review, which will come probably two, three, four weeks down the road. So you guys can expect to see that. I do appreciate you sending this in, Nate, uh, because I've been wanting to look at this literally since I talked with um, Jim from Kaiose like forever ago. Uh, so it's nice to finally have this here on the channel. Guys... And I will link this down below if I can, but I see them come in and out of stock all the time. So I don't know. At the time of this video, I have no idea if it's actually available. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives. They're either expensive or inexpensive that I do not like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.